Hey everybody, welcome to Fashion Fridays. You can tell by the title of this video, we're gonna be talking about how to dress in transitional seasons. Right now, it is the end of March in Nashville and the weather is crazy. We don't know what it's doing. It's been raining, it's been hot, I've worn shorts, I've worn fur coats. It starts out at 30 degrees in the morning, it ends up 80. It's raining all the time, I don't know what to do. But I know what to do as far as dressing myself goes. So I'm going to go ahead and give you guys the same tips. I also filmed this video before and had it turned the other way around. So I have 11 minutes of me talking and you get the back of my house. Great job, Peyton. So we're gonna go right into it. So today I have a pretty casual day. I have to do meetings, I have some Skype sessions. I'm not like on my full like super Peyton regalia. Um, it's raining, it's kind of gross, the tents, the hair. I just got my lashes done so I haven't been wearing a ton of eye makeup because I want to kind of let them chill. I went to SS Lash Studio in Goodlettsville. Great experience, love them, I'm gonna keep going back. But I do have to go run some errands today. So I have my hat from Century 21 in New York, my vintage uh, replica of an Aerosmith tee from Pretty Attitude. I've got basic blue skinny jeans on and my gold Catherine Maladrino mules. They're very similar to the Gucci mules. So this is kind of where I'm starting out my day. It's gonna get colder later and it's gonna rain. So it's gonna be that damp in your bones cold. So if the Aerosmith tee is not for you, if the gold shoes aren't for you, then in your mind mentally sub in a white t-shirt and whatever your version of a sensible flat is. So let's get right into it. The key to layering, or excuse me, the key to spring transitional dressing is layering. I need more coffee. So I like to use really cool structured pieces that I would lean towards in the fall and winter in lighter fabric. So here's how I would take this from right now in my house to going outside. First thing first, I would layer on my Alexander McQueen scarf. This is a big silk scarf. Um, I bought this for my husband, but I've been wearing it a lot. Just gives a little extra warmth. And then I would also take this pretty attitude piece. It is a burgundy motorcycle jacket, but it's in velvet, so it's not leather. It's not super heavy. I would also probably switch out my shoes because the hardware on this jacket is silver and my shoes are gold. So here's what I would do. This is actually probably what I'm gonna wear later today. It is gonna rain later. I don't want my feet to get wet. I would take my very dirty <laughs> snakeskin ankle boots. These are um, faux snakeskin. They are from Stash Nashville. And I love them. I wear them all the time. It's a neutral color. It's a cool print. I'm probably gonna wear these later with the same outfit because I'm taking the same outfit and I'm adding three things on to make it winter appropriate. I really need to wipe these down first. So, that's how I took the outfit I was wearing, added three things, and made it appropriate for a wet, gross, nasty day. It's very English weather where we're at right now. It's the driest day in all of London. All right, so here's another option. Maybe you're more of a classic kind of gal. Maybe you're a little more Audrey Hepburn. Less whatever the heck it is I'm doing. You could do a lightweight black turtleneck in a very lightweight fabric. I please don't get a turtleneck and then get out in 65 degree weather and sweat. They make thin ones. Get a lightweight turtleneck, a dark wash jean, or maybe black jeans, a black flat, and add on a classic trench. This is my vintage Burberry trench. I got this from Pure Vita Vintage. It's classic. It never goes out of style. I also wear this um, frequently with a black turtleneck and high-waisted uh, flare jeans and like a platform shoe. It's very Jackie O, it's very Raquel Welch in the 70s, and I love it, but it's also not super heavy. You can also do the trench over a dress, you could do the trench over a, you know, over a suit, you could do a trench with nothing at all and be one of those people. I'm not judging you, just here to tell you how to dress for the weather. I also have this, it's from Scotch and Soda in New York. It is a lightweight green velvet trench. I love this, I wear it all the time. It can be dressed up or dressed down, I could actually if I didn't want to change my shoes, I could throw it on right now. And I like it because it's the color of money. Who doesn't like that? But I can also do it over jeans. I can do it over a mini skirt. I've done it over a mini dress and knee high boots to give me kind of that like 70s flair that I like. But it's also lightweight enough where it's not going to melt me by the end of the day. And no one wants to melt in dry clean only clothes. We just don't. But also a great option to add an extra layer without making it like a mom waterfall cardigan. Another couple options, 
You guys have seen this. I wear it all the time. It's my husband's military jacket that I put a bunch of patches on. I like to do this with either my, I do it usually with skinny jeans because I like to balance out the top and the bottom and I do it with a snakeskin ankle boot. And if I want a little more of a neck warmer, I use my I'm with the band neck scarf. You see me wear the mustard one all the time. I don't want to bore you. If it's going to be over 65, but it, and it's not going to rain, but it's still going to be kind of windy, I like to use kimonos. So this is an actual Japanese kimono. My stepdad got this on tour. Um, I wear it with a t-shirt and shorts a lot of the time, and I do it with uh, like gladiator sandals. When I want a little bit of extra coverage, and if I'm going in somewhere that has air conditioning, I want to still be warm, but not melting. It's cool, it's unexpected. The thing with dressing for spring especially is we don't know what kind of spring it's gonna be in Nashville. We don't know what kind of spring it's gonna be in most places, honestly, unless it's LA, and LA is pretty consistent. But you want to dress in layers that are thin fabrics, but you can also look for the structure of the fall and winter pieces that you actually like. So these pieces right here, from here over, are actually all for a client that I'm working on this week. And I'm going to use some of these pieces to also demonstrate how things can be taken from fall and winter to spring, summer, and vice versa. So I got this dress for my client. This is from Love on a Hanger. It is a 1X, uh, if you guys are wanting the size. It's this really pretty burgundy color, which most people associate with fall. But I'm noticing some really cool gold, I don't know if it's picking up on camera, some gold threads running through it. If I wanted to make this a summer look, I could put gold gladiator sandals. I could do the gold shoes I have on right now. I could do a really cute gold flap. And then if I wanted to add a little bit of extra warmth when I go in somewhere, this is also from Love on a Hanger. I could throw this really cool kimono on it pops out all the color, but because it's burnout, I'm not losing my shape. I'm not feeling like I'm drowning in fabric. And the great thing is, is if I wanted to take this look into fall winter, I could just put knee high boots on with it. How cute would that be? And some big statement jewelry. So we can take any piece, unless it's a giant fur coat and transition it. This is also a really great option too. This is a, um, this is from 24 seven comfort. It's an XL. It's a t-shirt dress long sleeve but very thin very soft fabric we could do an athleisure route with this we could put on an espadrille and then you could go run your errands in it dresses are so easy you guys i don't know why people think they're high maintenance you literally only have to wear one thing and it's not pants you could do this you could do it with a knee-high boot you could do it with your chunky jewelry you could do it with a sweater you could do it with any of these jackets i mean this would be super cute let's just stick this in here Hello Christmas party, but also put on a sandal with that and take your kids to school. Super easy, super lightweight, also so comfortable. And if you want, you could also throw on any number of these jackets that we mentioned if you want a little extra warmth. It's a chicer way of wearing sweats to pick your kids up from school. Let's see if I have anything else off the top of my head. I can't think of anything else. I've got a black velvet dress that's very similar, and you could do the same thing. I actually would do this with, also don't think of velvet as just a winter fall fabric. We're seeing it a ton on the runway for spring. So you could do the same blast with it. You could do a sandal with it. You could do so many things with it because it's still lightweight. It's short, so you're not going to be getting that, like, I'm wearing a choir dress. And I would do this actually with black tights and these white boots from Molly Green and have kind of a Nancy Sinatra moment. I think that would be so cute. And if you want to cover the sleeves up, then it's just a black velvet dress that's really cute. Well guys, I gotta get back to work. I am gonna be working on some Skype sessions today. I have to go run some meetings. I have to pick up some props for some music videos. I'm gonna film as much of it as I possibly can. These are all for one client who's doing an awards festive, or excuse me, an awards season right now. So I'm getting all of her looks planned out. Um, I'll give you a sneak peek of her red carpet dress. I designed this with Lauren from A Lady of the Lake. How pretty! She is an inspirational artist, so we needed to be very modest, but also fun. So I love A Lady of the Lake. I use her for quite a bit of things, and I will continue to use her for all of my people. So that's kind of a sneak peek. I've got 
that. I've got a music video that I'm directing and styling on Monday. I have all kinds of crazy stuff, so stay tuned. Subscribe to my email list to be the first person to know about all of this, and you wear it well. I will see you next week. Bye.